Charlotte and today we're going to be talking about global warming. Now Britain hasn't had a great start to the summer with all the rain and the downpours causing floods all over England. And it all started in the north of England. Places like Hull and Sheffield were severely affected by the floods. Thousands of homes damaged, even many casualties, even some deaths. And then when we thought it was all over it happened again in the south of England, places like Berkshire, London, Thames completely overflowing, same damage again. Now scientists have finally confirmed that the main reason behind all of this is global warming. So I'm going to find out the causes of global warming and how all of us can make simple changes to save our environment. is how these effects have been accelerating over the past few years and they continue to do so. Action is being taken, no doubt. But is it enough to save our planet? Are we really doing enough? But can we do enough? Can we do more? Or is the actual question what we shouldn't be doing to our planet? Carbon dioxide emissions have been known to cause acid rain, which can affect sugarcane crops abroad. As we should all be aware, the polar ice caps are melting, putting low-lying cities at risk. And all the water isn't good for our marine life either, which requires salt to be in their environment. But it doesn't have to be like this. If we all did our bit for recycling, took a shower instead of a bath, took a bus instead of a car, and turned down our thermostat one degree, we could all see some serious improvements. Right, now we all like to receive a card in the post. It's always a nice thing, especially at times like Christmas and Easter, and especially birthdays. But let's be honest, not many of us want to keep our cards stored for years on end, and it is really tempting to just throw them away. Now, stores like WH Smith's and Superdrug often provide recycling bins for us to dispose of our cards at Christmas, but sadly these do not go around all year. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to show you how you can recycle your cards and save you money as well by turning them into gift tags, and they can be used for any occasion as well. So what you, all you need is, you choose your certain card you want to get rid of, and the side that has the message written in, you just simply rip it off so that the cover is just remaining. Right, now this card is rather on the big side, so I'm going to cut it into four smaller sizes. You need just a pair of scissors, and I'm simply just going to cut down the middle. And again to make them more of a gift tag standard size. Right, so now I have four and next I'm going to get a little punch, just punch a hole in them in the top corner. And finally all you need is a nice piece of decorative string which you then loop through the gift tag. Tying a knot, and there you go. You never have to go to the shop and buy gift tags again. I'm here with Gary Rivers. So, what do you do? Well, Charlotte, I'm a member of Greenpeace UK. So, what is Greenpeace? Um, to put it shortly, it's Environment Protection Society that specialises in um, the environment itself, okay. such as extinct animals that we try and protect, the destruction of rainforests. It's, it's, you know, it affects everyone in the whole world. Um, and just generally global warming that we're trying to reduce. Alright, can you give us some interesting facts and figures? The human beings themselves waste 560,000 litres a year of water. 560,000? Yeah, it's a lot. Um, it, it's just small things, like when you take a shower, right? Three showers is equivalent to one bath. Right, okay. Okay, yeah. people leave their lights on all day. 
you know, just by going out, they don't even bother turning it off itself. Um, just small things phone like chargers that. In. Phone chargers, leaving them plugged in, everything mm. like that. Okay, so what can we do to help? Again, it's, it basically just boils down to people have got to pay a little bit more attention to themselves. Um, for instance, you know, take showers and the baths if you can, turn off your light, uh, recycle your bottles and your cans when you finish using them, um, and you know, try and support an organisation like ours and we can try and make the world a better place. Right, thanks Gary for that. Well, it's been my pleasure Charlotte, thanks for having me along. Oh, you're welcome. I think I might join. Brilliant. Ultimately, we can't do anything to change the damage that's already happened, but that doesn't mean we can't do anything to prevent further devastation to the planet. There's so many little things that all of us can do that will make a huge difference to the planet. There's only so much the government can do, such as imposing laws on recycling. But at the end of the day, ultimately, it is us who have the responsibility and the power to make a difference. Head now, head now, don't dream it's over. Head now, head now. Right, thanks very much, Gary. It's been my pleasure, Charlotte. Oh, you're welcome. I think I might join. <laughs> 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 As we head into the year 2008, Greenpeace continues to grow from strength to strength. We've doubled our number of members from 8,000 to 16,000. Big deal! <laughs> As we enter the end of 2007, Greenpeace UK continues to grow from strength to strength. We still need your support though. By dialing 0800 27 28 29. <laughs> that's like, that's like the way you kids. Yeah. So that it was like a sexual health thing. Yeah. <laughs> Poor bitch. <sighs> As the closure of 2007 approaches, Greenpeace UK still needs your support to make the work we're doing worthwhile. By calling 0800. <laughs> Why is that fucking number coming into my head? <laughs> As we enter the end of 2007, Greenpeace still needs your help to make the work we are doing substantial enough to make differences. <laughs> what do they call that in fucking theatre? Just boffling bollocks. <laughs> As we enter the end of 2007, Greenpeace still needs your help so we can keep. <laughs> It doesn't take a genius to work out that Greenpeace is a large organisation, but we still need your help to make sure the work we are doing is substantial enough to make a difference on the environment we live in today. By calling 963 3212, you can make that change today. Call now. <laughs>